New tonight at 5, Governor-elect Ralph Northam addresses his new cabinet for the first time. He hosted a meeting open to the public in Richmond where he called his opponent, Ed Gillespie, a good man and says he's excited to be moving into the governor's mansion this afternoon. Then he turned his attention to the future of the Commonwealth. 10 News reporter Rob Manch was working for you in Richmond and has all the details tonight. Ralph Northam entered the conference room in the Patrick Henry building Wednesday morning <laughs> to a round of applause from supporters and his future cabinet. Tremendously humbled uh, and, and privileged to be able to serve as the next governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. So we but after the clapping died down, Northam began to talk about the work he plans to do. From his perspective as a doctor, he's diagnosing Virginia's health care system with a problem. I don't mind working with people from both sides of the aisle, but when we have 400,000 working Virginians that don't have access to coverage, don't have access to coverage, I find that unacceptable. Northam also says his prescription for growing Virginia's rural economy will be more access to the Internet. I just find it very difficult in 2017 to not only grow a business but start a new business uh, with so many pockets across Virginia that still don't have access to broadband and cell coverage. Northam also reiterated his commitment Wednesday to combating global warming. I would like by 2030 that at least 30 percent or more of the energy that we produce in Virginia be from renewable energy. I think that is something that is is very doable. Northam closed by telling all of his cabinet members he wants to get started on his policy agenda as soon as possible. Virginia, as you know, is the only state uh, in which you have four years, uh, and that's it. And so we need to hit the ground running. Running toward what Northam calls a brighter future for businesses and citizens of the Commonwealth. In Richmond, Rob Manch, 10 News, working for you.